Hi you guys, I got two of the new Scared Ice Island dolls, Frankie and Draculaura, and then I also have Skeleta Calaveras, <laughs> I didn't want to say it wrong, to open with you guys also. So I got two of her, one to keep in box and one to take out, so I will be unboxing one of them with you today. So, I figured if I paid like Mercari or eBay, it'd be the same price as this like new inbox one. So I might as well just get the new one versus getting used ones because I don't have any of her out of box. So I really wanted to add her to my collection, but I wanted to leave one of her inbox with my other inbox holiday dolls, and then I also wanted to get one of her out of box. So I figured this was the best way to do it because I've been really wanting a Skeleta doll, but it's just she's kind of expensive on the websites. And I've been waiting to try and find one of her in person, but I don't know if that will happen. So I figured now is a good of a time as any. So here we have her um, certificate of authenticity, which that's pretty cool. I didn't even really know they came with this. I guess the other two holiday dolls probably have one also. I didn't open the Claudine or Draculaura ones. Oh, I might as well just leave this in there. So, here's her base. And it's so pretty. Look at that. It's like these hearts. They kind of remind me of little suns. And then the skull and more skulls. It's pretty cute. You guys, I forgot to put my flash on when I started the video, so I had to like end it real quick, but now you can see it better, because I was like, why can you not see these? They were just showing up so dark on the camera, so now you can see them. I'll just have to stitch the two videos together, it'll be okay. So let's get the rest of I wonder if I could keep this like little background intact too. Okay you guys, I got her out and look at how gorgeous she is. I love, love, love her skeleton body. She's just one of the coolest Monster High dolls out there because she's a literal skeleton. Like, this is just so cool to have an actual skeleton doll. And here's her like her even like her pelvis that's what that is right that is just so cool and then so they have this little cone here i guess you could leave it on or take it off to like keep the skirt out and poofed but anyways so look at her little like, bone legs like isn't that just so cool you guys and then even her feet is just so so pretty i love these shoes look at the little hold on the little sun star it looks mad and these are so pretty and then her dress has these pretty pink ruffles and this blue I mean, not blue, why? <laughs> Purple. This is blue. Or teal, kind of green. Not green, really. And then pink and orange skullettes and this kind of spider web ish effect. So pretty. And then she has like the golden type top with more like ruffly sleeves. And then a cute little necklace. And then she doesn't have ears because she's a skeleton head. So, she can't have, like, earrings. And then she has some beautiful bracelets. So colorful. <clears throat> and then her, like, um, it's got, I guess it's kind of flowers. I don't know what this is called. 
I don't want to just call it a flower crown, but her sugar skull crown, I guess. And then her pretty Day of the Dead face painting. I don't want to say like anything wrong, like wrong terms. So I'm trying to just find the right words for certain things. And then her hair is kind of you know, wavy up here and then kind of straightish and it's got this undertone of like the teal gray i mean not gray <laughs> the bluish green and yeah she's just so cute and i'm so happy to now finally have a skeleton out of box because she's just so cute and then here's her her stand it's like these ones, they put their legs between. I guess it's like a saddle stand. So you don't have to see it like around her back. And it works pretty nice. That's a pretty good, I think. So let's kind of pose her. Whoa. <laughs> well. She made some things fall. She's kind of on there. I gotta put these back up. I don't know. It's like her feet kind of barely touch the bottom. They don't really touch it fully all the way good. So she's kind of balancing on the stand a little bit. Like you can kind of keep her feet there. But they kind of are also a little bit wobbly. So let's get into Draculaura next. Because she's just so cute, and I'm so excited for her. And I'm also excited for Frankie. I thought this was a really cute one. Like, the outfit they have on. And then the Claudine one. Like, I don't know. I might get her and the Heath, but I'm just gonna wait on them for a little bit. So I just decided to get these two for now. And yeah. You guys, I wanted to try and save the cutout, but it's like glued in there, so it's gonna just rip if I try and take it out. It is so cute though. So maybe I'll just save the back part of her. Okay, here she is, and her hat is a really nice, like, bendable material. It's not like really hard plastic, and I didn't have to even, like, you know, pull her head out of any like of these things they are on her hat though so you would have to cut them off if you want to take the hat off but i'll probably just leave them on there to keep it on because i mean i'm not going to change her this is her look anyway so here's her earrings super cute like little suns and then she has like this yellow and pinkish makeup super cute I love like yellow and pink and orange together and then her top has little spider webs and bows and then these kind of like bat wing type frills I don't know what you would call that and then she has a little skirt on top of her little like, bikini bottoms and I didn't even notice they have little spiders on them cute so she can be all covered up or not and then of course she has these super cute heels with these little heart cut out heel and then all the little hearts across the band the little heart and wing um i want to say clip but that's not what it is the buckle <laughs> and then the little spider webs around the neck around the shoes I was gonna say nails but yeah that would be cute if she had little spider web nails but her fingers are so tiny but yeah the little bat cutouts these are just so cute and then of course she has to have her SPF 5000 because she's I guess on an island <laughs> and you know, you don't want to burn, especially Draculaura. And then she'll get, like, 
sunburn of her bats like on her. Okay. And then she has these little sunglasses. They're pretty cute. And then her little bat, um, beach bag. And this is a cute little tassel. I love the little shape of the bag and the bat. And you can just put her little SPF in there. And it seems like it could, like, just come right apart. Like, right there, it's already coming apart. So be careful with that. And then she has her little beverage. Oh, there's a little cherry on it. That's so cute. Because it's probably cherry juice like she always drinks. With the little wings and it's dripping. So cute. Maybe this will go better in one of her hands. And then the SPF. Am I supposed to put it on her finger? I always try and do it on their thumbs. I guess it works better on the finger. Yeah. And she looks so cute though. Look at her. And then I can't wait to see like if they make a G3 Skeleta. That would be so cute. I think they are supposed to, if I'm not mistaken. So now it's Frankie's turn. Oh, the ball just came right out. Not very secure in there, and the monster hide just ripped off. And let's see the back of this one. That's a cute artwork. Oh, I love those shoes. So they come with a little volleyball, and it's actually pretty squishy. So let's have Dracula hold that, and I'll get the rest out. <laughs> okay, here they are, looking so so cute. Look at the little bucket hat with the like stitching, and I like these little rings on it. Pretty cute. And I love the lightning bolt earrings, and their makeup is pretty nice. Not really anything bad, like it's pretty neutral. It's like, I mean lime green, not, not anything crazy. And then the hair is cute, but from what we can see, they have the little blue stripe, and the rest of it is white and black, with stripes in it. And then... You can kind of adjust the hat, like, if you want to leave it on. That's pretty cool. And they kind of remind me of, like, a little jungle-type explorer with the hat. And then I like this little, like, top coat-type thing, cover-up. They kind of come with, like, how Dracula comes with a cover-up. And then their bathing suit is, like, split top, blue and silver with some checkered and lightning shorts pretty cute i like the little lightning bolts all over this yeah i really like this outfit for them and then the shoes the shoes are like the best part look at these these are so so cute the little the zippy zappy and the strappies on them love it and then it just says their name Frankie, kind of upside down. Yeah, I wonder if like all, I think like all the legs are different. Like their leg always has something different on it. But I think it's pretty much always in like the same shape type style. I'm not sure. And then they have these little like lightning glasses. Which, I don't, you know, I don't really care for glasses. And then they have this little tote bag. It's okay. You could put more in it than Draculaura's bag, though, at least. And then they have this. And it's so cute. It's like a little half a pineapple. And it's like a skelet on it. So adorable. 
And of course, they're, well, you can't really, well, maybe you could. There. <laughs> it fits, kind of. Let's put the glasses on them. Mm. They don't really work that good on with the hat, I think. I think that's the problem. Because they want to just kind of slide down to the side. So, that's everyone today. Skeleta, Draculaura, and Frankie. And one day, we'll be saying that for a Skeleta for G3. It'll be a Skeleta, a Draculaura, and a Frankie. Or whoever. It's so adorable. Well, I guess I'll just lay them down. There. They're chilling on the beach. And Skeletas with them I guess <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video helped you decide if you wanted any of these dolls and like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all next time thanks so much for watching bye